Hi everyone, here is Ivan and today we are going to speak about my top 5 favorite tattoo artists in realistic style and where actually I am taking an inspiration from. Anyhow, with this video I don't want just to share with you my top 5 list of my favorite artists but to tell you how important it is for you to have one. I will start with the sentence that if you know what you want from life, try to surround yourself with people that already have it. And the easiest way to make it is by following them and what they are doing. This is a very important thing to understand, following a good example especially in early stages of building your character and career is crucial. I remember back in the times, the days when I watched some of their work in internet and I couldn't believe the time that I would be remotely close to some of them, not even considering the option that I will know personally some of them and even work in the same studio next to each other. I can't explain with words the feeling to have some of your idols next to you, having a chat with them and getting in touch with their personalities. Having a favorite artist not only inspires you to work harder, but also help you having a goal to reach and dream to follow. For me, this was a big motivation to travel for a convention or doing some guest spots because this was exactly my chance to meet with all of them on the same place. And when I say someone to follow, I don't actually mean somebody to compare with all the time, but more like a role model showing you what you want to be one day. My list of favorite artists actually is not only a list of the best artists that in my opinion are in the moment, but the list of people I get inspired one way or another through my years of building myself. Actually I still get inspired every time I see their work and they influence me with their passion and dedication during the years. Anyhow, most of them I know personally one way or another and I saw a ton of their work at life. So for me definitely those are one of the best artists of all time as well. Now here is important to tell and to mention that with this video I'm not searching for their attention because most of them I already know personally and I have the chance to share a few words with them about it. They know my opinion for them and there is nothing surprising about this video. However, I wanted to show you my respect to them and I think this video is a good way to do it. Anyhow, the moral of the video is to tell you how important it is to have a right example if you want to achieve something real in your life. I have the feeling that I get personally followed by a lot of artists, mostly young artists and in my opinion everyone who has a certain amount of influence in the social media is responsible for the example that is giving out there. But now, when I'm already done with this deep philosophical part of this video, let me finally share with you what I've promised you in the title and this is my top 5 favorite tattoo artists in realistic style and what I love the most about them. The first one in my list will be an artist which I personally know and he's working in his own individual style. His name is A.D. Pancho and if you're not familiar with his work, make sure you go afterwards and check it out. I will let the link to their Instagram profiles in the description below the video to make it easier for you to find them out. Anyhow, I have met him on many conventions and like I said already, I have the pleasure to know him personally. Meanwhile, let me show you some of his work, he is doing mostly solid color pieces. If I should name his style, he is doing some individual kind of stylized realistic work. One of the things I admire the most in his work and impress me also the most are his compositions. Always extremely original and well positioned on the body, the color packing and the technique he is using to saturate the ink under the skin is just outstanding. I saw a dozen of his healed work at life and I can say that those are some of the most craziest pieces I have ever saw in my life. Enormous amount of skills and quality. Outstanding work, awesome and humble dude, big shout out to him even though he is 10 times more famous than me. Really, big respect to him and I hope I see him soon again somewhere and also meet with his amazing work. Now, number 2 in today's list will be a guy from Lithuania. His name is Tumantas Parvainis and I hope I spell his name right. He is doing some kind of grey wash work and rarely some color realistic pieces. However, here I am speaking mostly about his black and grey work. He has some individual technique of packing the shadows under the skin and I think he is using some kind of grey tones and not just the regular grey wash which make his style just screaming his name out of the bodies. To me, the most impressive part of his work is the way he is controlling the black and how interesting he is combining the designs. The sizing and the composition on the bodies makes it almost impossible to copy his style. 
he is working mostly on a very large scales and because he is applying an extreme amount of contrast, especially by using a ton of black, all his pieces looks very dramatic and powerful. The way he's controlling the black, it gives a really nice mystic atmosphere to his style and I jump often to his page when I need an inspiration for doing something unusual and impressive. Now in the middle of the list today is again a guy who I know personally. His name is Denia Kovlev and he is an amazing guy from Belarus doing black and grey and color realism. For me he is one of the most amazing portrait artists literally ever. Through the years I have learned about the portrait tattooing only by observing his work. I love the way how he is in a full control of the light sources, how he knows perfectly how to separate the light from the shadow parts, where exactly to put core shadows to build nice and correct forms. Actually he is working very dark, which helps him to achieve an unbelievable amount of deepness in his tattoos. Something what I love about his work is actually the way he is able to use the lines in his super realistic work and even though achieve an effect he is searching for. This stuff makes his style to look so individual that it's impossible to not recognize him even though he is working in realistic style. He is also a very very provocative artist who really loves to shock people with his art. This makes him very attractive to me as well. I love how brave some of his works are and they just let you speechless. If you still don't know what I'm speaking about, go and check his work in details. Definitely not gonna regret it or maybe you will, people mostly hate him or love him but nobody ignore his work. And now we are slowly moving to the end of the list and this one to be honest was a tough one. I am still following a lot of amazing artists but I didn't really want to stretch this episode way too long and make it boring. Now the reason why I stopped to the next artist was because he is also a guy which I follow since the beginning of my career and till today he is still an inspiration and I love to see his work. However his name is Denis Sivak, right now his shop is located in Soho, New York, an amazing artist by any meaning. Awesome tattooer with the great composition and details. I love his grey wash. For me he is one of the best traditional black and grey tattoo artists nowadays, when we speak about realistic of course. Just take a look at this piece. Pay attention how he made some of the portraits out of focus and also everything what is less important is fading away and mixing with the background. This is one of my favorite methods of creating deepness and he's mastered this on an extreme level. All his pieces are well balanced between black, shadows, half tones, highlights and the whole picture look exactly the way he wants us to see it. He is in a constant control of it and this makes him very very special to me. He has also a very artistic way of using colors, so in general I just love his work and I get very inspired to work harder and harder when I see some of his tattoos. Go and check it out and I'm sure you will love it too. And now the last but definitely not least is actually my favorite of all of them and my biggest inspiration like ever. I remember the time when I was starting with tattooing and I found his work. It was already on a level that no one ever seen before. He was and still is one of the most respected artists in the world. I personally have the rare chance to have two tattoos made by him and you can be sure that those are not gonna be the last one. I say the rare chances cause it's very very difficult to catch an appointment by him and especially this is it because he's not traveling at all. But anyhow, if you still don't know who I'm speaking about, that's the master Dimitri Samohin. I really don't know what to tell you or at least from where to start. He is working mostly in a color realistic style, but he's proven to be a world class in whatever he wants to do. Maori, new school, caricature. As a tattooer he is just impressing with unbelievable color combinations. Color packing without damaging the skin at all, perfect healing as well as an extremely original pieces and compositions. However the thing I like maybe the most of him is his attitude and dedication to work. He is an absolute beast and everyone who was one way or another in touch with him would agree with what I am saying now. He is committed his life to art. Beside the great tattoo artist, he is an amazing painter as well. Painting mostly with acrylic, 
His shop is literally a temple of art. Walls are full of original painting from him and another great artist too. Walking around his shop giving you the feeling that you are in an art museum. I am extremely proud to have the chance to have a piece of his art on my body. And I can't wait anymore to get my next tattoo by him. He is an extremely motivating and inspirational person for me and one of the greatest artists of all time in my opinion. I think it makes no sense for me to explain you more about him, just if you still don't know, go and check his page. I think his work speak enough for him and what he's doing. So guys, those were some of my absolute favorite realistic tattoo artists at the moment. Let me know in the comment section which are in your top 5 list. If you like this kind of videos, you can subscribe to my channel for more content related to tattooing. You can follow me on Instagram where I'm posting almost every day. I have also a Patreon page where we have our small private community of tattoo artists and we share our thoughts and daily duties with each other. You can support my channel there as well and make sure you check it out if you're interested because I'm sure you will find a ton of different value in there. I will let all what you need in the description below this video. However, this was all from me from today's episode. I wish you a great day and if you have any other questions, Please let me know.